This is William Wagner on Second Thought. Uh, we're here in the countryside, I guess, of which city? Colorado Springs. Colorado, Colorado. Springs. Uh, with Dr. Charles? Corey. My doctorate's in geophysics. Geophysics. And you're also on the board of? The Equal Justice Foundation. I'm a founding director of it. Okay. Any other organizations you're a member of? Uh, I also serve on the uh, board of the local chapter, the ACLU. I'm a member of a number of uh, scientific and engineering societies, and also I'm a member of the Marine Corps League here. What is your position on the justice we get in family court? I don't think it exists. And why do you say that? Did you see one case go bad, one bad judge? No, I probably see hundreds of cases. We help, try to help about 600 people a year now on a personal basis and our websites take about 200,000 hits a month and uh, in conjunction with our board members and uh, other volunteers uh, we get all sorts of information about individual judges, courts, um, appeals courts, Supreme Court. Uh, I've also taken lawsuits personally up through uh, the Colorado Court of Appeals and to the Supreme Colorado Supreme Court and also a Title VII lawsuit through the federal court, the Tenth Circuit Court here, and it uh, won a jury and lost that case in the appeals. You won by a jury? And the uh, Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals reversed the jury verdict. A jury verdict can be overturned in Colorado on appeal? Uh, this is a federal court. Oh, a federal court. They can overturn a jury verdict on appeal? Yes. What was the name of that case? Um, it was Corey versus uh, Analyst International. And it was a, quite a famous case because it uh, dealt with uh, my being required to uh, adhere to the Ten Commandments, uh, even though I'm not Christian. I've been Buddhist for about 40 years. Uh, and working as a consultant for uh, what was then U.S. West Telephone Company, and I was told that I'd adhere to the Ten Commandments as a condition of my employment. And when I filed a complaint about that, my contract was terminated. And a jury found in your favor? Yes, the jury awarded me the wages I'd lost on the contract. And then the appeals court overturned it? Yes. That's strange. Okay. Uh, Dean Tong, that we work with quite often, has come out here and he, he's spoken with them. I also sponsored a talk by Dean when he was here. Do you think there's any judges on the Colorado bench that should be removed from office for cause or for blatant violations of the existing Constitution or law? Oh yes. Can you name any? Uh, Christopher Munch, Charles Hoppen in the First Judicial District, uh, those come to mind immediately. Morris Sandstead in the uh, 21st Judicial District in Boulder County. Uh, we campaigned heavily against Tom Kennedy down here in the uh, 4th Judicial District. Uh, even the uh, police, the Colorado Springs Police Protective Association came out uh, asking for his removal. Um, let's see. Those are the judges. We have a number listed on our uh, dvmen.org website. Uh, what, what's yeah. that website again? Uh, it's Col Domestic Violence Against Men in Colorado. The uh, URL is dvmen.org website, is the website. And there's a chapter there called uh, Colorado Judges Citizens Review. And uh, we've got, uh, I think, 18 or 19 different cases there, listing about 20 different judges. Um, Palladori, I think her name is, in the First Judicial District, too, is another one that has been consistently bad. Marilyn Leonard, uh, who's now a district judge in the uh, Arapahoe douglas County, and I think that's the 18th Judicial District. Um, she's been a horror show. Why, why is Madeline Leonard judge in the 18th century. Why is she so bad? I mean, what makes her so bad? What has she done? Well, the experience that we've had was in a case where a U.S. Marshal 
had custody of his two girls because his wife had abandoned him and the girls and taken off for five years with a boyfriend. She came back, wanted visitation with the girls after being gone with five years. When the girls were over at their mother's house, the mother's new boyfriend was sexually abusing or molesting the girls. The girls didn't want to go there. Uh, the marshal took it to uh, what was then Magistrate Leonard's court and Magistrate Leonard was yelling and screaming at the U.S. Marshal that she was going to take custody from from him and give custody of these girls full time to their mother just because she could. She said that just because she could, she would? Yes. Oh, these judges frequently refer to themselves as gods from the bench. That's not at all uncommon. I've heard that from a number of attorneys. Were you in the courtroom when that screaming was going on? No, but uh, one of our board members, Linda Sanders, has the uh, tape recording from that. Did you hear the tape recording? Uh, I have not, personally. Uh, I take Linda Sanders' word for it. Because you're on the same board? Uh, she serves on our board, yeah. Right. Uh, the president of the... Uh, is there any other case... With Marilyn Leonard? Yes. That's the case that comes to mind. Okay. And then U.S. Marshall, did he eventually prevail and get his children? I believe he did. He kept his children. He had custody, and I believe he eventually he kept the children because the children refused to go with their mother because of the uh, behavior of the boyfriend, her boyfriend. In that particular case, what was the U.S. Marshal's name? I don't recall that. Okay. In that case, that took about two years before it resolved? Two years would be fairly quick in these cases, and I don't recall the time period okay. on that particular case. Is there any other cases that come to mind that, that are just so grievous that the judge just should be removed from office? In a recent case, my son, who's a disabled veteran of the uh, United States Marine Corps, and I'm a veteran of the Marine Corps as well, uh, he sought a restraining order uh, against a neighbor who kept coming down and harassing him and uh, threatening him on his doorstep to the point where my son would have been justified in killing him under uh, Colorado's Make My Day law. Uh, so my son sought a restraining order trying to settle it peaceably and this Charles Hoppen, 1st Judicial District uh, County judge there, uh, then put a restraining order against my son simply because my son had been in the Marine Corps. Just for having been a military Yes, and victim? very frequently in uh, domestic violence cases, <clears throat> I, if the uh, man is a veteran, he's referred to as a trained killer, particularly if he's been in one of the elite branches of the combat branches, the Marine Corps, Special Forces, SEALs, 